Hello everybody and welcome back to the Galactic Empire campaign where I've been thinking about our situation and how I want to handle it and I think really what I want to do is I kind of want to go missile heavy. As odd as it is, we don't really have great shield penetration. Uh, let's look at... Excuse me? Okay, yeah, that's right. I forgot that I didn't make any victory class. Um, basically... What I'm looking at is the uh, Star Wars weapons don't really come with a lot of shield penetration. There's some shield damage bonuses for the ion cannons and the uh, ion pulse missiles. But, I mean, I'm seeing 10% shield penetration. I think there was one that was maybe 20%. It might have been the Disruptor? Yeah, no, that's 20% shield damage, so not even the Disruptors. So there's not much shield penetration that we can get out of this stuff like 10% seems to be the cap so what we need to do is we need to overwhelm the unbidden shields because they don't really use any armor they pretty much exclusively use shields and then I think they fight back with disruptors like standard Stellaris disruptors which I don't think I have the tech for so yeah I kind of want to overwhelm them and I think doing that with my cruisers makes the most sense now, the way that my cruisers are set up right here, this is pretty good. Um, we want to build a ton of them, and I also think I want to change my interdictors. My heavy interdictors here. I think I want to change these over to missile heavy boats as well. And that's just so that I can really break down their defenses before they get a chance. Something like that probably would work pretty well. It's really power hungry, so we're probably going to have to skimp on, I guess, we'll skimp on a bit of armor. I don't remember. Do the matter. You know what? I need to look this up because I actually don't remember if the matter disintegrators are good versus armor or shields. I think they're good versus armor because they say matter in their name, but I just want to make sure. Disintegrator... Uh, I should probably put Stellaris in that. There we go. Ship Designer Wiki. And let's see here. I think they are energy weapons, if I remember right. Disruptors. Matter Disintegrators. All right. Matter Disintegrators are 50% shield, 50% armor. So I guess it really doesn't matter what I pick. They... Uh, these tables don't have stuff on each side. That's kind of annoying. Range accuracy tracking. The matter disintegrators have decent range, decent accuracy, but terrible tracking. So actually, maybe we don't even want to go with cruisers. Maybe what we want to do is create a bunch of corvettes. If we make a swarm of corvettes that is highly evasive, we should actually get a pretty good yield on our our stuff here. And I think I'll probably do a medium ion cannon for the medium slot. And then we make sure that we have our best impulse thrusters, our best things. I don't think we really need this, but I think the tracking may help a little bit, so we're gonna go with that. And then we're probably just gonna drop this. I don't know, we might even just drop it all together. And go purely offensive. We're just going to swarm them with so many Corvettes that they won't even know what to do with. And I mean, funnily enough, this will be a pretty cheap way to do it. But we're going to save that. The Senator is going to get updated. Um, our fleets are coming back into port, so we're just going to... Excuse me. Uh, we're just going to allow that to happen. And we're going to queue up a bunch of Corvettes. Course plotted. We need to find pretty much every planet and just queue up a bunch of corvettes. We'll allow the cruisers to continue because we did lose a ton of them and it's a good idea to get some new ones. But yeah, for the most part, we just want corvettes everywhere. Inactive buildings on the Mars Prime. Yeah, that's probably true. I'm not going to worry about that. Once that planet gets filled in, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, it looks like we're out of stuff. All right, fair enough. Well, once we get our stuff, uh, 
our minerals back. Once we get some more minerals, we'll queue up more Corvettes. We're going to allow our ships to get into port here. That should, yeah, turn us from negative to positive, so that's good. We can store up some energy again. All of our ships should be grouping up here. Um, no. No, you're all going there. And we're going to upgrade the fleet so that all these Corvettes that are here can also be updated. All right. Repair is complete. That's good. Debris has been analyzed. We got extra dimensional weaponry, physics research, and engineering research. All right. So we're learning a bit about their weaponry. That's good. We'll see what we get out of this one at 55%. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Bad aliens. 118 fleet. Yeah, they still have that larger fleet back here. I wish that I could go over here and help them, but I can't. You guys want a defensive pact. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. I am happy to gain a little more power in the southern area here. Or a little more security. Wow. They've just wrecked this entire outer rim. You know what? I may want to come over here. Yeah, because now I have an option to get into them. Because they've destroyed whatever planet was over here. I don't even remember. Hmm. I mean, this one is the greater threat right now. So we're going to focus on these guys. But yeah. At least we have an option to come out here and deal with the Aberrant now. What I really need to do, though, is I need to figure out how I'm going to deal with this 300k fleet. That one's pretty nasty. Uh, yeah, I wanted to track your progress. So he should finish that pretty soon. This is all queued up properly. I like it. That'll get upgraded next. And then, I don't know, we'll upgrade the ones... Why is that a mine? That shouldn't be a mine. This should be a power plant. And then this should get replaced with a power plant. Uh, trade deal, expiration, sure, whatever. Debris been analyzed. We didn't get any more tech out of it, but we got a little research point, so that's fine. Let's look at our situation log for a minute here. The Aberrant. Mention killed by others, killed by... Uh, why is zero killed by us? Huh. I'm assuming this just shows the aberrant there. Maybe I need to attack these guys to work on that? That could be. They seem to be two entities in the game. We are losing influence, so I'm going to go into my, not policies and edicts, I'm going to go into my factions here. And I'm going to stop suppressing most of these guys. No, that one's not being suppressed. Stop suppressing. Hmm. Wasn't I embracing some, or promoting somebody? I don't know. I'm going to stop suppressing you as well. I, I would like to have that influence because I'm going to use it for uh, capacity overload in the future. Now we're making one influence. I think it's because our rivals are getting screwed. Well, we have that rivalry. And then we can still rival you, right? Yeah, we might as well just declare you a rival again. Why not? And then up here, you want a non-aggression pact, huh? Interesting. I can't declare you a rival. Oh, I can only have three rivals. Who's my third rival? I don't even know who my third rival is. Uh, I need to get to myself in the diplomacy screen. Okay, I guess I can't. 
Is there a place where I can look at that? I don't know who my third rival is. Neberite Coalition, you guys. Was it the Savelli Systems? Did I declare them a rival? They are rivaling me, but I don't see me on their rival. Um... All right, well, I'm rivaling somebody out there. I don't know who. Was it you? I think you guys, like, rivaled me or something. Yeah, you guys were being dicks, so I rivaled you back. That's right. Fair enough. All right, let's go ahead and unpause. I, don't, I didn't need to be paused for all of that. We've got another fractal frigate, so that's good. I like it. More stuff showing up. Uh, we also have some minerals, so we might as well use them. We'll go into rule here. You can build me some Corvettes. You can build me some Corvettes. And Hodius now has planets. Actually, you've had planets. Had planets for a while. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much just stuck here. We need to build up as much as possible. This fight's going to be really nasty. And it looks like they do have smaller fleets popping in and out. So that's a good thing. Military power. Those are just military stations. I don't see a... Oh, there's the portal. Dimensional portal, yeah. So until we can take over that 300k, there's not really much we can do except fight the fleets. Which kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, once we finish our tech here, we can kind of look at, I'm assuming it was physics, but I don't know for sure. They had their extra dimensional weaponry. That's a, it's a good idea to look at that. You guys can explore all the planets around here, I guess. Borders closed. Situation updated. Oh, they opened borders. Okay. Fair enough. Why? You, all of a sudden you like me? Incoming Cordial. Huh. Okay. And they want a non-aggression pact. What is happening exactly? Defender of the galaxy. I see. Yeah, because I'm trying to prevent this existential threat from destroying the galaxy. Now everybody wants to be my friend. Um, well, how do you guys stack up? You're equivalent, huh? Alright, fair enough. Can we get a defensive pact out of you? I'm gonna have to break a lot of these treaties later, but for now I think it's fine to be friends with a lot of these guys. I wonder, once I get my fleet together, I wonder if I can bait the smaller fleets out to come and attack me. I'm not sure if I will. Oh yeah, they're totally destroying these guys. That's no good. They're going to be very big really quick, and I don't really know if I can even build up fast enough to meet that. We might want... Well, we're still upgrading, right? Yeah, we need to get that upgrade done. Waiting for spaceport. Oh, I forgot. You're building ships here. Yeah, don't even worry about that. Just upgrade the fleet that's already here. Three, five. All right, it's going quickly, at least. It shouldn't take too long. Annihilator Super Star Destroyer. With the plans of the engineering department, have budgeted for the construction of new cruiser-sized ship. Uh... Well, maybe it looks like a Super Star Destroyer. We got a lot of these. It says cruiser size, but maybe it's as big as the other Super Star Destroyer. Stop guaranteeing the independence. Yeah, I don't care about that. Vimaz is doing well. It looks like everything's planned out properly. We want to also replace this. 
Oh, that's right. You're getting replaced with the Frontier Clinic. That's fine. That is all good. Fleet has been upgraded. I think we might... I mean, we still haven't really made up for the cruiser hit that we took last time, but we might want to take this fleet out. Because now we're looking at... Yeah. I wouldn't say that we're in a better position. But I would say that we're in a pretty good position. And I think we're just going to keep feeding... Why aren't they all grouping up? Two fleets, I want you to group up. It won't group up. There's a button here, right, to tell them to group? I don't even know. I just learned the hotkey and don't know. I can't merge. Same ship class with the same FTL. What is this, then? These are... They're... They're military ships. What if I split it? Course plotted. No? What the hell? That's some kind of weird bug going on. Yeah, I can't group those for whatever reason. That's annoying. Special project complete. Oh well. I'm going to tell everybody to group up with that. Excellent. Excellent. Migration treaty broken. Okay. Trade deal offered. Minerals for monthly lethargic gas. You're my vassal, so I'm going to help you. You're also dangerously close to being attacked. Um... You know what, we can get over here. We could preemptively strike this fleet. Comlink active. Let's try and group whoever we can. Yeah, I don't know why these won't group up. We will merge them together, maybe? No, I can't even do that. That's very odd. Research complete. Comlink active. Um, well, it is what it is. Research has been completed on the border range plus five percent in disruptor research chain, so that's a good thing. Uh, all of these look terrible. I guess habitability, naval capacity, uh, habitability. I think. All right, what are, how are we going to handle this? I think we want to send our fleet. I just don't understand why I can't group these. You're there. Can I group you? No. Can I group you? Yes. It's just this small little fleet, I think. Yeah, that's very weird. Comlink active. Cross plotted. Um I mean it's some victory class star destroyers and stuff. I guess I'll just have them hang out with the fleet, but they're just not gonna be a part of it for whatever reason. I don't know. Comlink active. It's not because they're hurt, plotted. is it? I just don't understand why they wouldn't be able to. Repair is complete. If I try to group you, no. Can't. Oh well. I'm wasting too much time on it. Um, I think we're in a good spot here. We should probably try to preemptively strike this. Wait a minute. Comlink active. Comlink active. Okay, you have an admiral. Comlink active. 
Shadow Blade. Reliable. Olemp. Devastator. These are all fractal ships. Maybe I can't group my fractal ships with this. That could be. Maybe there's something weird going on with that. Um. Can't put the better. I can't put the jump drives on them, unfortunately. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted G. Um, I guess I'll just, you know, order them around with the rest of the fleet. If they get killed, they get killed. I don't really. It's not much else I can really do, you know. If I can't upgrade their... Their drive systems, the jump drives, they're gonna get killed at some point anyways because they have to walk around all wonky. Guaranteed revoked, system surveyed. But yeah, I wanna try to get in on these guys. It looks like they're in the northern area. But yeah, jumping in on this side. Well, they have their defensive station, so we're going to jump right in on top of them. Which seems fine to me. Alright, we're in battle. Let's see how this goes. And we finished our engineering research, so... Ooh, Mega Engineering. Alright. We definitely want Mega Engineering. I'm just looking because I'm wondering if those weapons were in here. But it doesn't look like they are. Another thing we probably want to get is afterburners. Because if we're going to be focusing on Corvettes, we want them to be very fast. And we can put afterburners on them to help with that. Mineral storage capacity and building speed. It's a rare tech, and Mega Engineering definitely goes towards building cool things like ring worlds and stuff like that. We also have a trade deal offer. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm trying to be friendly with them. Trying to get them vassalized. That's not what I want. Minus 15. Friendly attitude, threatened, relative power of empire, subjugation, acceptance modifier. I mean, it's close. It's just not close enough. So. How's the battle going? Looks like... They're giving us all the energy weapon damage. We've inflicted a lot of shield damage already. We've inflicted a lot of hull damage already. So things are looking good. Oh no. Did the Star Destroyer die? Oh no. We lost our Star Destroyer. Because they jumped in backwards. Fuck. That sucks. I don't know if we can build another one of those. I'll look at them flipping around. 113, we're at 123. This is a pretty nasty fight, honestly. But we also came in poorly positioned. For some reason, we jumped in backwards. Oh, we saw an admiral there for a minute. If we pause and try to take a look at their fleet, yeah, we, we can't make any sense of anything. Yeah. Alright. Fair enough. We definitely won this battle, though, so that's good. We did lose a Superstar Destroyer in the... in the battle, though, which is terrible. But we need to challenge these guys. If we don't keep challenging them, they're going to just run away with the game. 
All right, where's my science ship? Let's get you... Well, let's just go to the galactic map mode and tell you to research all the projects in that system. Looks like they have two fleets that are just hanging out there now. Um, I think we send our fleet home to repair. Did the other little fleet die? I think the other little fleet might have died. Oh no, I didn't jump them in, that's right. Alright, all of you... I'm gonna use the fractal fleet as kind of a sensor array, I think. I think that makes the most sense. I mean, they're kind of useless otherwise, because they can't keep up with my other fleet. Unfortunately. You have hyperdrives, yeah. Yeah, that really sucks. Yeah, you guys go home and repair. We're going to need to build a lot more. We're actually getting up there in minerals. We're going to need to build a lot more Corvettes, obviously. We're going to have to go Corvette heavy, even though it is a lot more fun to go... Um, capital ship heavy. It's just not going to be viable against these guys. The better way to go is to try and evade their poor tracking, I think. Otherwise, it's going to be a really expensive war. Build a bunch of Corvettes here, and a bunch of Corvettes here. It would be nice to have, like, a ideal fleet that you could set up somewhere. Like, you would have, like, on your um, outliner, like, you could create a fleet here and say what you want in it. And then it would just automatically try to replenish that. That would be actually a really cool feature. Because otherwise I have to go around and click on a starport, tell it to make a bunch of Corvettes. Then I need to zoom out, find another starport, click on it, tell it to make a bunch of Corvettes. It's just not, it's not efficient. What's up? Oh, I see. Yeah, we're out of minerals. I was confused for a second. I was like, I can't make Corvettes? What's, what's happening? But that makes sense. We're out of minerals. Well, if I wanted to attack the Coalition or the Federation, I mean, now would be the time. I just don't think it really matters, because they kind of don't exist anymore. What's up with this? Where did... There was another portal, and it's gone. We finished our research, so that's good. Heavy ion cannons is actually probably ideal right now. Are subspace sensors better? Sensor range 40, no. Extra dimensional weaponry. 50 armor, shield penetration, 40 shield damage. Not exactly amazing. I mean, situationally, sure, they're useful, but not really what I'm looking for. They're not really going to help me against the Unbidden. Whereas, 250 shield damage is going to help me against the Unbidden. Even if the average damage is pretty low. Yeah, we're going with the heavy ion cannons. We're going to start fitting our fleet with those. Fleet's been upgraded, that's good. All right. Well, we're at 30 minutes, so I think it's probably a good place to stop this here. We got another engagement off. We won. We're going to gain some research out of it, hopefully. Hopefully we get something good out of it. I don't I don't remember if they have, like, special shields or anything like that, but I feel like they should. Um, but, yeah, I don't really know until... Maybe we go with a, a big cruiser heavy 
fleet. Or the Corvettes, we just keep building a ton of Corvettes forever. But yeah, we need to match those numbers. We can't go in there with 300k and win right now. And I'm not really sure how we're going to match that on our own. Maybe we end up building our own federation, honestly. But, I mean, these guys are pathetic. These guys are equivalent, but kind of pathetic. These guys are actually probably the closest to us. It says they're superior. Wow. Interesting. We don't want a defensive pack, mostly because of borders. Requires Federation Diplomacy Tradition, which I don't have. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to figure something out, though. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you guys have been enjoying. I definitely have, and I will see you in the next one.